Welcome back to the 34th annual Men's and Mixed Netball Championships. It's semi-final day, coming to you live from the Janaya Centre at Sydney Olympic Park. My name is Dave Mills. You've seen me a few times for Amnet TV. I'm joined in commentary by ACT legend Joe <laughs> Collis. And the reason we have Joe is because we've got an ACT game happening, Joe. We've got a mixed reserves game. Should be a thriller. Last time these Very two teams so. played, 44 all. You know more about this grade than I do. <laughs> Thoughts on the game? Um, I think finals is a completely different series. You never know what they're going to expect, and I'm just looking forward to a good game today. So this is a preliminary final. The winner goes through to meet Victoria tomorrow. Both teams have already played today. Uh, New South Wales took on the, this aforementioned Victorian side. Lost 49-22. Joe, what's going on with the Viking? Look, you've got to get it going. We have to get the crowd um, upbeat somehow. We're a small state. Not many supporters are here for us, so we just like to be as loud as possible. A small Things state, but you've got the Prime We've Minister the living down there. We've got so the heart. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're underway here. New South Wales first centre pass. New South Wales, as I said, played this morning, lost 22-49 to the Vicks. ACT, on the other hand, took on WA in the 3v4 match and absolutely annihilated them, 59-33. Joe, were you present very for that game? So. Yes, I was. It was a very complete game from ACT and they'll be hoping to reciprocate, uh, replicate that today. Or reciprocate yeah. as well. Yeah, <laughs> Who either, knows? One. either way. So the New South Wales team first on the board through their shooter. We'll go through the lineups very, very shortly. Start with ACT. Joe, you know the players better than I. Maybe you'll get the pronunciations correct. I probably <laughs> won't. So starting with Shooter. Yeah, Shooter is Joe Pivak. Um, we've got Matt Carey into goal attack. Carly Simons in wing attack. Brianna Toes into centre. Tamara Weatherburn in wing defence. Emily Toes in goal defence. And Cam Bennett in the goalkeeping position today. The aforementioned Tamara Weatherburn commentator from last year. Did a couple of games with us up at the, when we were up at the Gold Coast. Did she go on to a great movie career? Uh, I think she's in the works. Excellent. The netball career doesn't work out. I think she's <laughs> signing up for that one next. I tried to encourage her to go, <laughs> go global. As we are here at Amna Live, uh, we uh, sorry, Amna TV Live. We're on uh, amna.com.au. You can follow us on the Facebook page. We're the only game on at the moment, so you're stuck with us. And it's 1-1 at the moment. Now, the New South Wales side, they've lined up with Grant McLeod at the shooting spot, Britt Berry at GA, uh, and Nika Marcosi at the WA spot, Matt Gauci, the centre, uh, Matty Kirk is the wing defence, Ange Williams the goal defence, and rounding it out all the way from Fiji is Von Bayevetu in the goalkeeper spot. So it's goal for goal at present with the centre pass. ACT, uh, sorry, New South Wales 2, ACT 1, early stages first quarter. Joe, is it a bit of a defensive team, this, or are they a good attacking team? What, what do we expect to from the honest, ACT? To be honest, I think they're the full package this year. You know, they've got... Um, a lot of players returning who played in this competition last year, and that's always good for not only experience, but in com terms of combination as well. Um, Joe Pivak is obviously a target down in that shooting end. Um, she's a very experienced player and is showing that this week with her performances. Speaking of experience yourself, six times national title uh, player with the ACT? Yes, yes. Actually in the junior levels or senior? Yeah, all through. Um, kind of started playing quite young and was lucky enough to represent ACT pretty much all through the underage groups and then was lucky enough to um, play for the Canberra Darters in the old Australian Netball League as well for a couple of years. Canberra Darters, yeah. so that's a pretty high level of netball. That was in the yeah. uh, National League, so yeah. for our viewers or worldwide, that is uh, an ex well, the Australian leagues are known to be very super strong, so this young lady is represented in that uh, league, so you've got one of the best commentating for you today. <laughs> she, she laughs off. <laughs> too modest, Joe, too modest. So we've got ACT here struggling a little bit to get it in the circle. So, excellent job by the New South Wales defence, yeah. Williams and uh, by Vatu. Yeah, they've got some height in there, so I think they're just the ACT team will just take a little while adjusting to that. Um, they played quite a small team this morning in terms of height, so I think we'll just take a few centre passes to get so used to. So, it eventually gets here. It's 2-2 at the moment, and uh, New South Wales now themselves struggling a little bit through the uh, bit of a floating zone that, w, uh, that ACT are playing and forced a turnover with the step. Joe, is that a tactic most of the sides use? Um, yeah, I think a zone is a good tactic to put on, especially if you've got a fast team, which is the New South Wales look like they do very much so. So a zone kind of creates pressure and puts pressure on the passer, which is why you saw that step. Wise words from the now super coach of the 20s, is that correct? Uh, I wish. Yeah, you <laughs> guys went all right this, this, this tournament? Um, yeah, we had a, had a few struggles leading into the tournament. Lost um, in a team of 10, lost three to injuries um, a week out. So oh, found two more two hurts. more players, luckily, just before the competition and um, did the best we could and won a few games. So which nice. injury is sort of rocking this side as well. Nick Heppel uh, did his ACL on day three, I believe. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yes. and he would have been maybe your starting goalkeeper for this match. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, so, but yeah. he's actually a quality player. So he it's a shame that we, so. uh, we lost him early in the tournament. Yeah, as so. the physio said this morning, they're holding on by tape. So oh, he's, he's hoping they get through. 
Absolutely. So ACT had the opportunity to extend the lead there. They currently lead three to two. Early stages, first quarter, four minutes gone. Unfortunately, they turned it over. New South Wales dragging it through the midge. Struggling to get through this ridiculously tight ACT defence at present. So nearly a hell ball. So more great coverage. So this vast improvement for the ACT side. They didn't finish third last year. No, memory. very much so. And I think that comes down to, um, once again, experience of players. Combinations are good. And the coaching of Di Harrison is really good this year. Absolutely. Great feed there by uh, Britt Berry. Grant McLeod under the ring makes no mistake. 3-3. Three, three. Four gone. Nearly, uh, nearly five gone in the first quarter. New South Wales centre. The umpires for this match, we always got to give them a plug. You know, yeah. so on the near side, we have L. Bonasea on the far side, Christina West, and the third umpire is Deborah Tapper from Queensland. So actually, Elle's from Queensland as well. I'm sorry, I don't know where. She's from the ACT, Christina. Christina West. Yes. Ooh, we shouldn't have said that now, even on the <laughs> making it hard for her. I'll call her boss. You watch. Never. It'll be a one Never. point game. <laughs> would be an absolute buzz to have an ACT in a final. Oh, it would I've been around this so sport a long time. I can't recall ACT ever making a final in any grade. No, I no. Might be wrong, but um, no, we've only been. Um, this is only our second tournament. In recent times, so you weren't in back in the old days, even. No? Uh, not sure. Yeah, a bit young. Aren't you? Stretching yeah, yeah. my limits there, <laughs> um, but definitely in most recent times, this is our second year in the tournament. So Absolutely. it would well, be really be nice, even just to push up into the open division, which I think this team is hoping to do. Well, everyone hates New South Wales, so I can't go for them. <laughs> so I'm jumping on the ACT bandwagon as well. What's get your prediction? On board. What's everyone your prediction, Joe? On board. Uh, ACT by five. By five. Yep. I'm going to stick with my usual uh, team I picked by 27. So <laughs> ACT looking solid. Need to get a wriggle on to get that 27 margin. We're at 4 4. We've played six in the first quarter. Both teams feeling each other out at the moment? Yeah, I think it just takes a while to get into a game. Obviously, there's a bit of pressure coming into the prelim final, so settle the nerves a little bit in the first quarter. ACT is doing a really good job at that mid court press at the moment, yeah. and um, New South Wales will take a little while to get through, so be yeah. interesting to see how that progresses. So, Grant McLeod is a, a strapping young lad for the New South Wales shooter I'm talking about. How would you advise uh, Cameron Bennett to play on him? Oh, I think exactly what he's doing at the moment. You need to push him high. Obviously, if he's under the ring, he's not going to miss much. He's a solid guy, and he's taking the ball quite well. So keep him high, force that long shot, and hope for the rebound. So great pass off there from McLeod to Berry. And yes, indeed, she does have got this. 6-4, biggest margin of the match, two to New South Wales. Early stages, first quarter, seven gone. Just being very patient in the offense. They're holding McLeod quite high. He's dropping back towards the base now. Britt Berry with the ball back into McLeod. Nice use of the triangle there, Joe. Beautiful, beautiful. Takes a shot, makes it. Margin is three. New South Wales on a three goal run. And we're looking at 7 4. Oh, another incredible intercept there. Anika Marcosi. And the ball goes out, the big man chases it down, but can't, not before the sideline. It looms large. So, Bennett with the throw in. Nice formation there from the ACT side. Obviously well drilled. <laughs> so, they had a great formation very there much, on the throw yeah, in. Very nice, yeah, very nice. Nice line set up. Absolutely. Absolutely smashed out of their hands there. there. Yes. No call, Joe Pivak. It's nice to see the ball, uh, the play go on sometimes. Sometimes the contact call isn't necessary. It looks like it's going to be a bit ding-dong battle there with uh, Bayvatu. Sorry if the pronunciation is incorrect. Doesn't mind grabbing the shirt too. We can see it from this angle. Yeah. Not so much where the umpire is standing. Yeah, and I think, yeah. I'm sure that'll come. And the Bonasau will definitely see that soon. <laughs> if we keep saying it, she might hear us as she runs past. <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to do that, Joe. No, <laughs> so, no. Not supposed to laugh. Either. Very serious commentary. Very serious. And the live.com.au brought to you by Game Clothing, our amazing sponsors. We're both wearing the game shirt. <laughs> Struggling to get the ball in the circle at the moment. Yeah, just a lack of communication, I think. And um, But once again, it's probably just put it down to nerves at the moment. This is a big game for the ACT. Um, and they will just need a little bit to settle down. And it appears your whole state's here in the grandstand supporting them. Yes, very much so. so. We um, have four teams in the competition this year. My phone's buzzing. It is the Prime Minister, Mel. Best of <laughs> luck, ACT. Thanks, Uncle Mel. 
So, Always on our side. He is, he is yep. indeed. Must be easy for funding down there. <laughs> so, New South Wales with the ball. Oh, a missed shot there. Great rebound. Great rebound. Bennett, quick transition here from the ACT. They're on the fly. Looking great through the mid. Just need to link up now, and they have. And that's, oh, great shooter to shooter work. Steps in. Oh, an obstruction, but gets the shot. shot. Important shot there for the ACT. They've stopped the run. 7 5. Oh, clash of bodies. That's what we like to see. It's good television. So, and we're away. Umpire keeping the game in control, which is always good to see. Absolutely. That's, of course, up by Christina West from the ACT. <laughs> Hope her eyes aren't blue today. <laughs> if uh, they're royal, not sky. <laughs> exactly. So, unfortunate turnover there in the goal circle. Yeah. Just The man from Fiji directing the defensive end. Yeah, ACT could probably do with a few more fakes in that circle, get the defender moving, open up the shooters. I'm sure they'll talk about that oh, at quarter time. A miscommunication there, speaking of miscommunications. Mm. Through to no one. I nearly got that one. <laughs> Tamara Weatherburn with the throw in. The aforementioned commentator from last year. Hasn't gone on to the movie career we expected. So maybe that beckons for you, Joe. Come, maybe. So what is Coaching the Joe story? Are you a full-time coach or uh, no, student? Or? No, um, actually my first experience in coaching a state side. I've done nice. a few school, a few um, club stuff. But... Decided to take on the men's this year, which I've really enjoyed. Will we see you back next year? I hope so, if they have me. No idea where we're playing next year. Hasn't been announced yet. No. So, it, but it won't be Brisbane or Sydney because they've had the last two. So I assume it's Melbourne or somewhere else. Yeah. Great feed in. McLeod. Oh. It rings around the ring and definitely in it goes. So the margin's only three, and I don't think ACT have really settled fully yet. No, Is that a fair call? no, and I think they're doing quite a good job yeah, to... Yeah, so they're just um, hanging tough yeah, at the moment. Yeah, it's taking a while to get down to the circle, but it is getting in there. So and once they get their move on, they'll, they'll be fine. Yeah, we watched Queensland men's earlier today in a thriller. They were down by 12 at half time. Then they started to click and ended up a one-point thriller from Manila. It was a great game. Championship quarter is that third quarter. Absolutely, so Queensland. Can change a game. And they picked up nine in the last quarter. It was Beautiful. amazing, yeah. So had a chance, well, actually took the lead, but then just couldn't hang on to it. Yeah. So tonight from 6.30 on this channel, men's open netball. Queensland versus Victoria, the two old foes. They played more finals, those two, than anyone else. Uh, shared the last, or all by last year, but they've shared the previous 11 titles between them. It is uh, a rivalry that can be best described as bitter. So uh, looking forward to that one. That's from 6.30. 8, 8.15 tonight, we have the 23s final on this channel, and that will be another, another great game. Those Pesky Victorians are in it, and uh, looking to defend their title from last year. So, you sticking around for those, Joe? Um, no, we'll be watching the live stream. <laughs> yeah, taking advantage of it. <laughs> Get to hear the dulcet tones of myself, Joe, <laughs> while you're sitting in the hotel room. Maybe I'll come back and commentate it too. <laughs> Ouch, I've been replaced. <laughs> Joe's been here a minute and I'm gone. Giving the people what they want. Great shot by McLeod. <laughs> oh, I've, we've employed a comedian. <laughs> so, thought we were getting a netball expert. But we're getting Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> so great work here. That was a nice play by ACT. Probably it was the very best nice, of the match. Yeah. Um, so. The Bree, who's in centre, and Carly, who's in wing attack, play club together. So they have really great combinations. Oh, controversial call. Contact mm. on the goal attack from ACT. Matt Kerry didn't see it myself. Not in the best position. So now the chance are up, and they get the turnover. It's been ripped out of the hands, given to the ACT. That'll make the faithful happy. So drop us a line or on amna.com.au or you can get us on the Facebook. Absolutely. Here they come, the ACT. A lot Griffins. better. Griffins. Yeah, a ACT Griffins. Griffins. With an N on the end? Yeah. Or Griffiths? Griffins. Griffins. Yeah. The bird. The mystical <laughs> Greek creature, yes. Creature. Yeah. From Greek mythology. <laughs> Most people just go with tigers or something that's but you've gone Greek mythology. Impressive. The bench is clearing. Do you think the coach will make any changes? Is it a usual um, tactic to change it at quarter time? No, I think um, I think you only change a combination if it's really not working. Yes, an ACT is nervous, but they're only down by two um, against a quality New South Wales side. So I think the coach, Di Harrison, will probably let it settle throughout this quarter and then go from there. Seems the focus will be to stop McLeod. He seems to be starting to own the shooting circle. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, just their attacking end probably needs to 
settle down a little bit, not try and force the ball in because that's um, where, the, where New South Wales is turning the ball over with that first ball contest. So saying by vote, the Vatu is doing a pretty good job on your obviously pivotal Joe Pivak. Yeah, yeah, I think she, I think it is, but um, quite often it's struggling to even get down to Joe Pivak. I think credit where credit is due, the wing defence and goal defence for the New South Wales side are doing a really good job of first ball contest. Absolutely. So the margin is four. It's the biggest lead of the game. New South Wales just starting to uh, put their influence on the game. But the crowd is very pro ACT at present. And the chant goes the up. The underdogs come out. Everyone loves an underdog. Yep. Underdog with a prime minister in their back pocket. Maybe not so <laughs> underdogish. So, so yes, to see the Raiders had a good win last night. That's yeah. rugby league we're talking yep. about. Yep. So. Hit the score. It's hit the point board apparently. Finally. First time. First time, yep. yeah. Yay. Very nice. Ricky Stewart will be happy. Hello, Ricky. I'm yeah. sure he's watching. So, yes. you know, all you ACT people Ricky. will yep. stick together. <laughs> so... Everyone loves the green machine. And a goal yeah. to the ACT. Their centre next. Opportunity to cut the margin to two. There's only three seconds left. And that is time. So that centre pass should still be with the ACT. I hope that that is the case because the whistle definitely went before the umpire yeah. blew the whistle there. The pass has to be taken for and the um, centre pass to change. It was almost simultaneous, so but I think yeah. it was just slightly behind the whistle. Yeah. So that should be a, a good result for the ACT. It'll be Very their centre good. next. The margin is three, 11 8 in the first quarter to New South Wales. Thoughts on the first quarter? Joe Collis from the ACT. Um, yeah, I think just what we've been talking about throughout. I think ACT have the structures right. I think they just probably need to settle down a little bit, but nerves is understandable in a game like this. New South Wales have obviously got very good one-on-one um, -on -one defence coming from their defensive unit, and their shooter is very strong, so it's going to be a really good contest. I'm so looking forward to the rest of the game. Three goal margins, nothing? Three goal margins, nothing. Absolutely. So we'll see if the ACT can get that three goal margin back straight after these messages. Welcome back to the 34th national titles here. Annual national titles coming to you for Men's and Mech's Netball Championships at the Sydney Olympic Park. We're at the Jenea Centre. Having a great time here in a men's reserve, uh, sorry, a mixed reserve match uh, for the preliminary final between ACT Griffiths and the uh, amazing New South Wales side. Currently New South Wales lead by three. I'm joined in commentary by a uh, superstar player and now coach from the ACT, Joe Collis. Joe, first quarter you said ACT looked a little nervous. Is that how they usually start? Um, no, no, but I think that's understandable given, you know, the weight of this game. Um, ACT doesn't usually make finals, so it's always good to see this, and um, I think, but I think they'll settle throughout this quarter. Absolutely. So we've got some uh, changes to report. The ACT side has made a change. Emily Toes is coming off, replaced by Renee Grimmer. Is that how we say Renee that? Renee Grimer, yes. Grimer, my apologies. <laughs> That's why we got you here, Joe, yep. to show me up. Small state, you know most people. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Tasmania? Oh, no, that's another story. <laughs> we're going there. <laughs> bit, we're a bit PG. So. <laughs> All right, yes, as we thought, ACT centre next. They're away. The crowd's on their feet. I love the support being shown here by the uh, Royal Blue and Yellow. Uh, Uncle Mal's boys and girls. Unfortunate turnover there, overrun by the centre. Bianca Toes, and I'm assuming her sister is Emily Toes? Yes. Yeah, yes. and she's come off. And they've got a younger brother in the 17s, and a younger sister is the apprentice coach of the 17s, so it's Absolutely. a full toes family affair. It's a full foot. Yep. Lots of toes. <laughs> ah, got that was a bad Made trend. a laugh. A <laughs> Finally got one back. <laughs> I am sitting next to Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> so 11 8, and ACT in possession after that turnover. Oh, gosh. Nearly a hell ball. Tommy Patelli, the New South Wales coach, yelled out quite loudly, you want the hell, hell ball. So, 
Coach Harrison making the change. Are you surprised by that? Um, no, I, th I believe Emily Toes is carrying um, a knee injury, so she's probably more of an impact player, and they won't want to prolong that injury, especially making the final. I was final. hoping you'd say foot injury. <laughs> <laughs> that would have just done me. No. So, Didn't give you the satisfaction. Miscommunication there, and the ball goes over the baseline. We're still at 11-8. That was the quarter-time score. So we've played two, nearly two minutes, and we haven't had a score yet. And... The ball's come up to the transverse line. New South Wales in possession. A little bit of structure about their play now. Into McLeod. He's been a rock for them at the moment. Takes a shot. A little bit far for him, but made it look easy. Grant McLeod has taken the majority of the score. Nine of the said goals thus far. Nine of the 12. So margin is four. Contact. On the new player, Grimer. Oh, unlucky. Must have been a slight obstruction. Not sure what the call was there. But there's the goal. Biggest lead of the game, 13 to 8 to New South Wales. The margin is 5. So, Weatherburn with the ball. Oh, great take. Nice work. Nice play by the ACT side. Draws the obstruction. Gets the second chance. Steps in. Takes a shot. And in it goes. Matt Kerry gets him on the board in the second half. 13-9. Margin four. Start. That was the best set passage of play for a while. Definitely, yeah. Seemed to have settled the nerves. And once they get it in, it's very hard to get those rebounds over Joe. So here we go. The defensive pressure being applied by the ACT. Playing a tight zone at the front. A bit of one-on-one -on -one at the back. And it's worked a treat. The intercept comes from the keeper, Cameron Bennett. Now oh, a clash of bodies. Weatherburn's down. She's absolutely been cleaned up by the New South Wales GD, but the contact's love a good on her. Tam will love a good contact, so. She's as tough as T. Yeah, Gets good up. contest. Good game. I think she's taking a chip out of the floor, <laughs> I think. That's how tough she is. The margin back to five. ACT just can't capitalise on the chances at the moment, Joe. Yeah, and I think that's probably what's letting them down just in terms of the scoreboard at the moment. But they're getting enough turnovers, so if they start um, converting those turnover rates, then the game is on. Nice work. Long shot, nothing but net. Matt Kerry lighting up the sky with his shots. So New South Wales in the centre. Oh, so close to a turnover. So... ACT going from side to side. Now they go down. Connection looking for the centre. Finding him. Getting ridden there by Brianna Toes. Feeds in. McLeod too far. Can't get it. And we're away. ACT the big clearance pass. That nearly went two thirds. And Matt oh. Carey. Oh, just the pass was behind that him. Pass placement. If it was in, oh, he's, that's hurt him that fall. But Brianna Griffith, he just bounces back up. <laughs> Uh, do you have many domestic comps down there that these guys were playing? Were they playing a mixed domestic comp? Um, yeah, we have a, a social. Comp? There's a social comp, yeah. um, which is does mixed as well as just ladies. There is a recently established men's competition as well, and then we obviously have a um, ladies competition um, yeah. throughout the ACT, so it kind cool. of runs all year round. So most of these male players were playing the men's comp, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd hope so. It's only a couple, once again, it's only a few years old, just like our oh, Griffins. Another um, clash of big bodies. Hit, big hit. She's all good. Yeah. Looks like ACT have decided to go the knuckle. So Most people love the contest, so it's a yeah. bit of fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it at home, viewers. That's the voice of Joe Collis, former ACT data. So, loves the contest. The margin is five. New South Wales just maintaining their pace. We've played exactly five. Second quarter. Just repeating the winner goes on to the grand final, which is on tomorrow. The Mixed Reserves Grand Final is one of the earlier ones. It will be played at 9.30am. Victoria already in it, so the winner of this will play Victoria. So, Victoria seemed to be in a lot of finals. Very, Very annoying so that, isn't it? Do you like Collingwood? Uh, no. No, see, no. no one likes Collingwood. No, I am a GWS Giants girl. Oh, no. Got to support the Canberra locals. Well, thanks for coming, Joe. We've had a good time. <laughs> so... Pick a check up at the door. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice Jay. feed in. Jay Bivak, Pivak gets the shot. Oh no. 
She's away now. She's been a little bit quiet this match so far. I've seen her yeah, play one other game yeah. and she absolutely she's dominated. She's been really held by the um, held really well by the New South Wales goalkeeper. Um, hopefully, once ACT gets the ball moving a bit better and gets that goalkeeper on the move, then the spot will open up for Joe. Absolutely. Nice but, shot. But, uh, New South Wales yeah. answer. Beautiful. Britt Barry is shooting very well, moving very well today. So. so. So who are your best players in this morning's match? Oh, I think it was a full team performance. You couldn't probably single out anyone. Well, um, they just played very consistent netball for four quarters, and that's all you can ask. So. Weatherburn on the floor again. Oh, uh, McLeod driving the post. It's probably just a miscommunication between our defensive end. Doesn't um, normally go that far on holidays, but <laughs> honestly, now they're doing the high-fiving, probably getting a little bit ahead of themselves, but at 17-11, margin is six. Starting to feel confident, New South Wales. Great hands. Mm. Ooh, Unfortunately, just a stepping call there. Probably would have been better off letting that go out. <laughs> so, New South Wales getting all the luck at the moment. McLeod again misses an easy one, throwing New South Wales. So. Rama trying to body up. Great work by the keeper. Great reading of the play. Weatherburn. Oh. Ooh. Oh, New South Wales ball. A little bit casual on the passing there. They're the opportunities ACT's not taking. Yeah, unfortunately, they're just not capitalising on the turnovers. And they are getting turnovers here. So um, I think they've just got to start faking the ball. Their defensive, the New South Wales defensive unit all over the court is very strong. The margin is seven. It's danger times for the ACT. Like, if this margin keeps blowing out, there's only a half to go after this. Nice shot. Joe Pivak. Uh, she definitely relies on the height. No knee bent there at all. It is all from the arm. <laughs> I'm sure so. she'll be getting a talking to at, quarter, at half time about that as well. I think I might have a talking <laughs> to her myself. Get out there. Come to one of my clinics. <laughs> so. Oh, great work. Great reason my turn there. One of our former commentators lighting up the court. Then drives straight across. Looks down now. Kerry throws it away, unfortunately. New South Wales on tra in transition. And doing a little bit easy at the moment. Tommy Patelli yelling out, telling him to take their time. Oh, controversial call. I actually saw it that way. I yeah, think it is ACT so ball. I'm not I. quite sure um, why the players are yeah, arcing up. Yeah. But we are a million miles away from that spot. Heat of the moment. Heat of the game. Uh, the ball knows, though. And back it comes <laughs> to New South Wales. I always believe the ball knows. Yes. So, and here we go. New South Wales being patient in this setup. So it's starting to come backwards quite easily. Perhaps the uh, ACT defenders can get themselves in between the ball and the uh, player yeah. at the moment, particularly on that transverse line. Yeah, I think the transverse line defence could probably step off a little bit, although this defensive unit is doing a really good job of pushing, especially the wings, quite wide to the ball, which puts them in between the space and makes that pass very difficult to execute. So we're at 19-12. That's an 8-4 quarter thus far. So... New South doubling the score this quarter, so they need to really hit back here, ACT. Try and get the margin down before the half. So. And the shot by Joe. You don't see Joe Pivak go low very much, so they must be trying something new to stop this goalkeeper. Does she ever play GA? Because no. at the moment we've got the male I, and no, the female, I, which might be sort of... I have not seen Jo Pivak play goal attack. Um, <laughs> Your last? <laughs> she, she might. You never know. Does she play keeper? You've never I seen that either. Uh, no. No, okay, I think she's too good shooter. You just leave her, in, leave her where she's best. No need to weaken a strength to strengthen a weakness. And uh, ACT oh, goes oh, hunting great into Joe. She should make no mistake of this and does. So, <laughs> killing me. So, <laughs> we will have a talk good, to Joe at half time, won't we? Shot by Joe. Good finish. So, she got the boards, gets the shot. Margin is 6, 20 to 14. ACT. Right. Here it is. Matt, Here they come. Matt Carey, the Griffiths are on the rise. I think that's a movie, wasn't it? Griffiths on the rise or something? Probably. So Probably an older movie. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Another joke there by Jerry. So, <laughs> 
They seem to take it off each other there. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Yeah. The ACT players yeah, that fought was, over the that same was a ball. Bit of a confusing one. So I think everyone's confused on court. Well, both teams are wearing blue, one light, one dark. So, yeah. so that would have been a good chance to get the margin back to five. They haven't done that for a while. And on cue, Tamara Weatherburn grabs it and gets penalised. So New South Wales still in possession. No, it is. It was whether I thought she got that ball clean. She did get to the ball first. Yep. Absolutely. Great it's effort. Good call by the umpire, but so. the New South Wales team isn't happy about it. So Joe Set not confident to throw it to her at this stage. Now they are. She moves well and steps, unfortunately. A little bit of a head shake, disappointed in her own self there. Destruction. So New South Wales trying to get this ball out of this defensive third. They achieve it this time. They haven't been down here for a while. Yeah. Kerry, whew, absolute clocks the female opponent. He waves to the bench. So, <laughs> not quite sure what's going on there. <laughs> I uh, think it's just a very just solid contest between two very physical teams. So New South Wales can take it. And when you win this game, Joe, see, I'm being confident, is um, how have you gone against Victoria, the team already in um, I believe I watched the first half of that game, and it was a very competitive game. Cool. Um, the Victorian side, make no mistake, they're very solid and deserve to be in the final. So whoever's in it will be a very strong contest tomorrow. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. That game from 9.30 tomorrow, Victoria already very there. Close. And ACT doing their best to join them. The margin is six. It's been fairly constant throughout this quarter. We've got two and a half to play. New South Wales in possession. Patience shown again, waiting till McLeod's in the right spot. They look in every time. If he's not on, they're not forcing it in. He's on that time. Gets it into him. A little bit far out. Great drive there by Britt Berry. So, ball goes back out. Berry have a chance here to stretch the lead she does seven is uh, the margin inside two so you're happy to see the clocks being turned on we didn't have them for the first yeah until, it was for the very preliminary strange rounds. it was um, a bit frustrating really I don't, I'm not too sure why that happened but I'm sure they have their reasons people smile than us Joe <laughs> goal scored ACT just hanging tough. They just need to get a little run on and yeah. then put a bit of scoreboard pressure on New South Wales and they may collapse. They may respond. We don't know. We'll That's find the beauty, out, I guess. The beauty of beauty sport. Of Nepal, huh? Nepal is the winner every time we commentate. <laughs> Great defensive play there by Bennett and uh, Grimer. Managed to get the turnover. Now, it's important they convert here and the next centre next. Unfortunately, they can't. Weatherburn had someone climbing up her back. So... I think ACT just needs to get a really solid drive out of defence. They're getting enough ball, but I feel, and credit to New South Wales, they're forcing us quite wide. So hopefully we talk about that at halftime as well. Forcing us. Joe, yeah. showing your true colours. Six-time national title player for the ACT. No wonder she's showing her colours. <laughs> so. Excellent shot. Bennett looking good. Oh, sorry, Kerry looking good. And a turnover. This is a chance coming in late into the first half. We've got 30 seconds. Chance for two quick goals. It's ACT centre next. So they want to score quickly to give themselves time for the next. Nearly a hell ball. It was. Late decision to go around the zone rather than through it. And this could be costly. It is because they'll have to take the next centre. There's nine seconds to go. Yeah, this is going to be like a turner. They won't have enough to score, but they'll have too much to take the centre. They've got to go long, and they're not going long. There it is. Uh, expensive turnover there right at the end of the quarter. It'll be New South Wales centre next. The margin was three at the half. It's now seven. Sorry, the margin was three at the quarter. The margin is now seven. That was a 13-9 quarter to the uh, New South Wales Blues. Comments from Tom uh, from Joe Collis, ACT coach at the moment. Your thoughts? Um, I think it's a difficult quarter. It's a difficult game. Um, seven is definitely not out of the realm of possibility to get back. ACT, they're getting enough turnovers. They're just not converting on it, and they're not capitalising 
would a, on New South Wales Would a mid-court mistakes. change possibly be a, a good thing? Yeah, I think um, perhaps bringing um, maybe Carly into the sh- shooting circle just to provide a little bit more movement, possibly. However, Matt and Joe are doing a fine job and credit where credit is due. The New South Wales Defensive Unit is also doing a great job. So I think they're just going to have to slog it out. Well... <laughs> Everyone in the room seems to be on the uh, ACT side. Whether they can That's get back into do. this, ma- <laughs> whether they can get back in on silly Viking, thing. <laughs> whether they get back into the match, we'll be, have all those uh, questions answered just after these messages. Passion, dedication, fun, and fitness. What do all these things have in common? These are all the qualities of Game Clothing and our brand ambassadors, professional athletes Laura Langman and Stephanie Wood. Stay up to date with all the latest ambassador and product news at gameclothing.com.au. Welcome back to the 34th annual Men's and Mixed Netball Championships coming to you live from the Janaea Centre in Sydney. My name is Dave Mills for Amna TV. I'm joined in commentary by ACT superstar, now coach, former player, former data player, six-time national title player, Joe Collis. Joe, we were hoping the the, uh, ACT team would come out firing. They've been a little bit flat early on. The margin is 7, 24-17 to New South Wales. We're in the Mixed Reserves Division. Uh, would you make some changes if you're the New South Wales side? Uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the, the ACT side? Um, I think you probably should at a- this point. Absolutely. Um, I've been given a couple of changes just then, so you were right. Yeah. Tamara Weatherburn's coming off. She's been replaced by Estelle Maggetts and the, uh, at wing defence. and at w- uh, Sorry, wing defence is Renee Pickering. Oh, Estelle Maggetts is coming to... I was going to say that's a hell of a change. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming to wing attack at the yeah. expense of Carly Simon. So... Will that uh, liven up the midcourt? Hey, I think it's something different, and there's no doubt that this um, ACT side will probably pretty, be pretty tired. They've worked really hard all week, so. So, how many games have you guys played? Um, in this, under- division? In this the, division. This sorry. division. Um, I believe that there's, they've had one bye, so and so apart from games. that, yeah, apart yeah, from that, they were playing semi. two games a day plus a semi, and now a prelim. There's the Viking clap. I hope the cameras are picking it up. It's not annoying at all. No. <laughs> so. Get it from the Raiders. If you've ever been down to Raiders Stadium and seen the uh, Canberra Raiders play, imagine 30,000 people doing that. And uh, you get why I say what I say. (laughs) So it doesn't help them win, mind you. But uh, just saying that tomorrow. um, Anyway, go the Mighty Broncos. Our time is coming. coming. (laughs) You had it in the 80s. You weren't born. So nice play by New South Wales. They had the first centre pass. They're away. 
So 24-17 in the halftime score, the margin of seven. Let's hope ACT can eat into this. Great pass. So it was. So the New South Wales team have made some changes as well. Coach Tommy Patelli showing faith in his bench. Matt Gauci has uh, come off and he's been replaced by Anika Marcosi. Uh, Anika was playing in the wing attack spot. So the new wing attack now is uh, Coglin. And Kirk was on at the bench, uh, was on at wing defence. He's gone to the bench to the place of Dart. So Nathan Dart is on. Fair contest, good call by the good umpire. Contest, Two bodies yeah. just going for the yeah, same space. Let it go. So. And you do love a good contest. So. Do. I think I think this is the time where ACT really needs to capitalise on turnovers and convert their centre passes with any changes. Uh. Estelle Mar gets caught with the ball. Those new to netball, we can only hang on to it for three seconds. Joe with the obstruction. Uh, I think Bivatu's done an amazing job on Joe. She's been dominant Very player good. for Very the good. whole series. Yeah, without and a doubt. And now I certainly closed her up a little bit. Very patient, McLeod. He's just a big Beautiful unit. movement, beautiful movement by him. Holds the space magnificently, yeah. doesn't he? he uh, his reading of the ball, reading of the bodies is very good. Absolutely. Like to coach him. <laughs> Come down to ACT. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's freezing. Forget it all. It's freezing down there. <laughs> well, our international viewers, ACT, Australian Capital Territory, holds the city of Canberra, which is our nation's capital. It also holds all our politicians. So... Got if you're in that. <laughs> We've got so much more. <laughs> so, you do. Wow. The War Memorial. We've got some great coffee shops. <laughs> Questacon. And you know. uh, ironically, we're the family. <laughs> <laughs> ironically, the most number of brothels is in the ACT in Australia. Oh, and we have politicians there. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you, you can jump to your own conclusions. So, social statement by Dave Mills. And here we go, <laughs> ACT bringing the ball down the court, looking fantastic. So, just goes out. My gets with the throne. Oh. oh, she's seen it. We said it's she would call. see it's it. A fair call. He's, He's been, been doing, doing it all game. match. The ACT supporters love that. By Vatu. Finally. Been doing it all match. The umpire is aware of it now. So. Oh, great ball in. Fair contest play on. Mm. By Vatu, a little bit strong in the air. So, I must admit, Joe, I found this building incredibly warm. It is very hot. It is, and the fans <laughs> don't do a lot. So, um, oh, Netball New South Wales, Wales. If you're, listening, you're on notice. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, clash of bodies Please. again. The two wings go at it, pat each other on the back. Game being played in amazing spirit. Oh. McLeod, great take. He's got strong hands to match a strong body. Steps in. Oh, that was a big step. Big step, big uh, step. Missed by the umpire. On the camera, everyone at home would have seen that. So, unfortunate. Land on the back foot, step forward. So, and away we go. WA, uh, sorry, WA. New South Wales out by now nine, soon to be ten. McLeod makes no mistake. This is the biggest lead of the match. 29 to 19. Joe, is it desperation times yet? Um, uh, not yet, no. Okay, what's the magic number for you? Oh. 600 and then it's desperate? Or? <laughs> if you look through our scorebook, I wouldn't know. Um, no, I think ACT need to settle. I think their drives probably could be a bit more effective. Um, their timing's just a little bit off at the moment. They're, but look, they're looking a little tired. Maybe the yeah, semi-final yeah, today Yeah, and that's, all, that's, all, that's always going to come into consideration at this point in the week. Big call by the umpire there. Um, delay of game, wasn't delay it? Delay of game, yeah. He was just trying to get to the spot. Yeah, by yeah. By would move. A bit of gamesmanship there one, by the Fiji International. Yeah, but I guess she saw what she saw, so. I think on the whole, the umpire has been pretty amazing this oh, week. Like, the standard of umpiring has been um, It's no very secret. Good, I'm, yeah. a, I'm well known to being a harsh critic of umpires, but this <laughs> week has been. You and me both. <laughs> Sorry to all umpires out there. I apologise. I'm not apologising. <laughs> I stand by what I said for the last 20 years. So. <laughs> but 
No, uh, I think I think the umpires have done a great job to, um, throughout the tournament. They keep the games in control, which is a big thing, especially in the de developing age groups, the under-17s and under-20s. Absolutely. New South Wales on the fly couldn't control it, but they managed to get the turnover. The throw in will go to New South Wales with the flick back. Great chase. The margin is 11. The shot is taken by McLeod. He's looked very composed in there. The big fella, Grant McLeod. Doing very well. No, McLeod's daughter's on him. He's going <laughs> all right. So there you go. Write that one down, Jerry. I did. So. I liked that one, yeah. It's a good show. Coming oh, back. Oh, unlucky. Yeah. Could have gone either way. Must have been a hand by ACT last. They're on a roll, New South Wales, and they definitely are. need to get the stop here. Uh, I think ACT might benefit from a moving circle, especially on a tall guy, I think. They've only scored two this quarter, ACT. Yeah, they, the won't be, they won't be happy with this quarter. I um, repeat, seven of New South Wales. So they need to stop the rot now. They're on a roll. The Blues. So from the ACT, do you support New South Wales at State of Origin time? I don't watch rugby league. I'm not a rugby league girl. <laughs> I apologise okay, to all the Queenslanders I, and New South Wales watching right I turn the right television now. off when rugby league comes on, so... Oh, Joe. <laughs> it's just an alien of half the country. <laughs> so, to all our fans in England, <laughs> they love the rugby league. Rugby union, AFL, big big sports fan, but... Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like it, Joe. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> what do you want me to say? No, I, I'll, go, I'll go for shot. Queensland. God bless you. The, the long shot from... Is it the Maroons? It is the mighty yep. Maroons, not just go. the Maroons. Great right shot here. there. Matt Kerry is keeping his team in it at the moment. Not a lot of output from Joe Pivak. So shut down a little bit by Oni by Vatu, the Fijian international, looking good. And McLeod again, he's the difference at the moment for he me. Is, yeah, Every time it gets in player. there, it's a goal. Not so much all the time at the ACT end. No, unfortunately not today. Working it round. Very nice drive by Bree Toes in the centre there. Again, the Fiji International grabs the dress. Oh, so yeah. close. Forced the turnover. The ACT crowd rises as one to support that magnificent effort by Renee Pickering. Coach Harrison looks pretty relaxed on the bench there. So, margin 12. I don't think I'd be that, uh, no. that calm. Queensland men's coach today certainly was not happy with a couple of calls. We had a clipboard getting thrown. Oh, so drama. It was, there yeah. was drama in that match. Queensland <laughs> 12 down, led by one late. And when I say late, I'm talking in the last minute. And then a call that could have gone either way went against them and gave the mm. game to New South Wales. We've all been there. We've all been in that position. Absolutely. So that's the beauty of sport. Yep. So 50-50 call. Some you get, some you don't. The New South Wales day today. They're in the final tomorrow at 1.45. Commentated by Michael Hutchison, myself, and the incredible Paige Hadley from the Sydney Swifts. So make sure you're watching that one. 1.45. Amna.com.au, or you can watch it on our Facebook page. It will be some match, that one. So not sure who the victor will be. I'm hoping it's Queensland joining New South Wales. Could be Victoria. They play tonight at 6.30. Here's the chant. Will this inspire the side? They're down by 11. There's 5.53 to go. They need some ball. Short pass, I would have thought, but not so by the umpire. Beautiful. There's the intercept. There's the pressure that they Straight wanted. back. And then the obstruction by New South Wales. Very nice. Looking good reading good. of the play by Bree. We speak of Brianna Tozzi. She chases this one now. She's got to flick it back in. Can't manage it. Nearly took out our camera. Would have sent her the bill. <laughs> So, how long good umpire? Good pressure, good oh, pressure. Obstruction, unlucky. Nearly a hell of ball. So, you got your coach's hat on, Joe? Uh, I'm trying not to. Trying let's to remember let's whack it on. Yeah. You've got to give him a motivational speech. What do you say at three quarter time to the AC2 Griffiths? Look, they're getting enough ball. They're getting enough turnovers. Yes, this um, Grant is doing a really good job in goal shooter. However, they're turning the ball over in the midcourt, as we just saw. They just need to capitalise on it. This could possibly be the last game of netball that they play for this tournament, and I'm sure they won't want to finish, you know, winning, losing by more than 11. So, really solid last quarter. Hopefully, push. Have you got goosebumps yet? No, it didn't ah. give me goosebumps that one. I was checking, but uh, I'm keeping calm. I got keeping goosebumps calm. this morning with Queensland <laughs> coming home with a wet sail. 
God, I'm and fighting went, a losing battle in this ACT. That turned to anger when the 50-50 Who do you hate more, ACT or, or Vic? Oh, Vic. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Vic has calling it. Say no more. <laughs> Who do you go for? Who's your AFL team? Uh, I don't really follow AFL as much, but it would be the Lions. And before that, before the Lions, it was uh, Carlton probably. Yeah, okay. So, but right, uh, well. the Lions, we had a great few years there. We haven't had many since. So, but rugby league, phase. rugby league's the yeah. game back home. Apparently so. so. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Joe. If ever you get a chance to go to a State of Orange match, whether it's Sydney or New South Wales, oh, the sorry, Sydney or Brisbane, the atmosphere is out yeah. of this world. So I there's bet. two things I've been to in my life that have been incredible. State of Origin and I was at and privileged, <laughs> not so much this <laughs> game. I've been privileged to be at the uh, 100 metre final in the 2012 Olympics with Ooh, Usain Bolt. That is. And that was the experience of a lifetime. I am goosing up now just thinking about that. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I watched it on TV and I got oh, goosebumps. Very could, good. The start of that race, 85,000 people, you could have heard a bird chirp. That's how quiet it was. Very the gun impressive. went off. Oh, and that's good defence from the SCT side. It really side. was. So do yourself a favour. Into McLeod. The margin 11. They just can't seem to get this down, the ACT team. The bench is warming up. Weatherburn again. Maybe she's coming back on. Is there any other arrows in the quiver for ACT? Um, I'm, oh, I think they need to put on a moving circle at this point. The whole and shooter's not working? I, it's not that Joe's not playing well. I just think that the New South Wales goalkeeper is doing a very good job of Quite shutting her down. Shut her down so I think, well. I think at this point, what have they got to lose? Um, give the it match. a go and always get... <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> that's one. That's one thing that they could lose. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, write that one down, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so. He gets one back, huh? <laughs> 600 you put in there. <laughs> so that's Joe. <laughs> Joe Collis trying to <laughs> Keep get her own sitcom, yeah. uh, sitcom show. <laughs> so as McLeod gets the ball, kicks it back out. New South Wales by 12. So there's only 2.19 wow. left. There's the turnover. If they could get it to 10 by the three quarter time break, they're a hope. You never know what can happen. It's netball. So. Looking good, long ball across. Oh, Great that's take. a risky play. Tozy looking for. Ball's Kerry. moving better this Much quarter. Much better. Second so maybe just better. having seen that, maybe you're right about the moving circle. Like that probably would assist this team yeah. at the moment. Yeah. However. Because in the um, end, Joe barely touched the ball. In yeah. The whole movement, yeah. So. However, the the experience of Joe, you'd all, you're as wary to take someone like that off. Absolutely. We've got obstruction, so ACT have got the ball back. The margin's 11, 139 to play. If they can score here, it's their centre next. Could go in single digits it's behind. A, it's a big win for the ACT heading into the last quarter. So, looking good. Nice drive there by Kerry. Flings it across. Dozy feeds There's Joe. The they Great found her. By Joe Little there. step there. No, that's thank exactly goodness. it. <laughs> I thought she was going to call for the step, it was the obstruction instead. This is a chance for a three in a row. Man down. Up they get. Not the best drive there. So Marquette went straight across the whole circle. Yeah. Throws the timing out of the shooters coming through onto the drive. 47 seconds, try not to concede. Oh, Tozy clunks her. The chant goes up. It usually works, and Beautiful it has it again. Great Beautiful. control. That's the wing defence, Pickering. Nice work. They must score off this. It's just a no-brainer. Got to go left. long. Got to get it. There it is. Got him for the hell ball. Left, right, straight. Didn't happen in the required time. Now it's about about not conceding this yeah, goal here. Uh, and they and may, McLeod under the ring. Timekeeper's up, he makes sure of the goal. Gets that margin back to 11. And there it is, the pass didn't get off, so it will be New South Wales centre when we come back. So we've had a 12-8 quarter there to the Blues. They extend their margin by four. 36-25. I'm joined in commentary by Joe Collis, legend from ACT Data Stays. <laughs> Laughs it off, but it's true. Apologize Joe. to anyone at home listening. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, the ACT fought hard there, but made no headway whatsoever. 
They did, yeah. And I mean, four points down in a quarter doesn't seem like much. Um, it's a really strong contest. However, the points just build up in the end, unfortunately. Um, he's hoping for a really solid last quarter. Absolutely. Anything can happen. It is preliminary finals time. So. Absolutely. The changes are getting made as we speak on the bench. So they're going to throw one more you know, arrow, one more at, the, crack. arrow yeah. at the target, so to speak. Getting... Carly Simons into goal attack. Maybe um, she could burst into song, yeah, but maybe <laughs> it's, uh, you know, well, those answers and questions and all the things that we have will be answered shortly, but we need to go to our sponsors' break. See you shortly. And we're back in this preliminary final, men's and mixed netball. We've got a reserve mixed game, ACT versus New South Wales. We're at the 34th annual men's and mixed netball championships coming to you live for Amna TV, Sydney Olympic Park, Jinea Stadium Netball Centre. That's quite a family, isn't it? That, yes. I'm joined in commentary by Joe Collis from the ACT, now the 20s coach, has been a former player of the ACT 17s, 19s, 21s, six, year, six national titles. Joe, your state's in trouble. What do you do? Um, I think they just fight hard in this last quarter. Anything can happen, but if this happens to be their last game, they want to go out on a high. They want to win this last quarter. Go out with the and bang. they want to finish, yeah, leave nothing in the tank. So there's been some changes to the uh, New South Wales side. Matt Gauchy's come on. He's gone into centre. Maddie Kirk's gone into the wing defence spot. She started Ooh. the game, as did Gauchy. So the uh, lots of changes for the ACT team. Emily Toes has come back on. She's gone into GD. She started the game, so that ankle is going to have one last crack for her. Um, the GD Grimes has gone to the bench. Uh, Carly Simons has come off. Matt Carey's gone to go. Sorry, gone to centre, and Carly Simons has gone into GA. So they've moved a male shooter into the centre, and they're going with the two girl circles. An unusual tactic in mixed netball. Um, yeah. I believe so, but um, Joe and Carly have played together quite a lot, so I think they just want that combination on. Will this give you the movement that you were talking about? Yeah, I hope so. Carly's quite an agile. She's usually playing centre court, so she does know about driving in front and um, that quick move, so I guess we'll find out. Are we at the point where we don't hesitate and we just throw it into this big shooter, into Joe? Uh, no, I don't, think, I don't think that's the tactic they should go with today because he is so good that it would just get intercepted every time. I think they work the ball in. And that he and you're talking just about. Carly shoots from outside the... Okay, is the uh, the goalkeeper from New South Wales by Vatu? That's who you're referring to. Yes, you yes, he's doing very well. Don't very forget the job. last two. The last time these two teams met, it was a 44-all draw. So New South Wales look like they're on track to at least get that 44. ACT running a little bit behind at the moment. So the margin 11 still. It's been that for a while. So McLeod just keeps popping them in. So. Hope you're enjoying the coverage at home. Don't forget, we've got grand finals tomorrow. You can watch it at amna.com.au or our Facebook page or the website for Netball Scoop. A great reader. You subscribe to the Netball Scoop? Yep. One of our sponsors, Netball yep, Scoop. beautiful. Michael Hutchinson, one of our anchors in this coverage, is uh, the editor-in-chief with Netball Scoop. Big call there. Unfortunate turnover for the ACT.
Great driving by New South Wales. They look very confident, don't they? They do. They're moving the ball very freely. Um, and ACT just got to put a bit more pressure on. And they've taken the crowd. Of it. The ACT crowd was quite vocal early on. They seem to have gone a bit quiet. <laughs> Boys' attention spans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hope my team heard that too. <laughs> uh, using the media to get to your team. Yep. Joe Collis, everyone. <laughs> Been on the team five minutes, playing it like a master. <laughs> uh, just listen to her jokes, they're fantastic. We love it. So. I'll be back, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> 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 that is the joke, that's the joke of the day. So. We'll see what Ooh. social media thinks. <laughs> Who is this girl? Don't get her in. I'm just reading the messages now, Joe. <laughs> so, of course, if you want, if you <laughs> so, bring back Millsy. Uh, oh, thanks, peeps. <laughs> So McLeod making his debut for New South Wales. He's from Freshwater in Sydney. He comes in at 195 centimetres and he's showing every one of those centimetres today and probably a few he shouldn't and playing the game of his life to get his team into the grand final. <laughs> so ironically, he was in Cambodia just before this comp started and he actually got here from Cambodia the morning of the competition starting. God. Doesn't yeah. appear to be having any ACT jet lag. try that next year. Yeah, no jet lag there. So, and uh, he's he's a sounds like he's a bit of a brown noser. His favourite male netball player is his coach Tommy Patelli. No one on my team uh, wrote that. Come on, could have gone with someone like yeah. me, but yeah. uh, he's gone with his coach. So, ACT fighting hard. Carly there. And what a take by Joe. Actually, under the attention of uh, Oni by Vatu from Fiji and the shot goes in you're right the circle does look better in this formation with the two females yeah I think it's just moving a bit more freely um, Carly's got very good cut pass placement knows exactly where Joe needs to be and puts it into the space well so Maddie Kirk with the ball another debutant from New South Wales this year lives in Camden sounds like Canberra maybe you could grab her for next year Come down. Let's Try out for any time. Gets the turnover. ACT. It's go time now. 11 the margin, 10 to go. There we have we a go. rule of 11 in that ball. When you're 11 down with 11 to play, it's hard to come back. Anything can happen. Uh, the ever yeah. optimist. Boom. Boom from Joe Collis. Welcome to the game, Carly. Here we go. <laughs> the crowd's starting to get more involved. Canberra rising, right? The Canberra rising. Let's get the Viking yeah. back. The margin is 10. <laughs> so... Terry with the ball, looks long, yeah. Great pass. I think that's the tactic. Oh, yeah. unfortunately, a little step there by Joe. The uh, tactic, I would be starting to peg it in, so you got to hope for something. Maybe you, you do know more about that ball than me. Dave Mills, former Australian You've had it here coach. First, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Looking good. So. Gauchi feeds the circle to the debutant. This is his uh, f third national titles for Gouch. So, Cloud missed a shot. He's just getting the yips. He hasn't missed a much all match. He's missed two in a row there. Contact from behind. New South Wales ball. That is unfortunate. So That just stems from the pressure from the New South Wales side, I think. And the scoreboard pressure. You're forcing passes yeah. you don't normally yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. So... Nice work there, McLeod. Doesn't want to take the shot. Refeeds. Draws the foul. Probably step in here. Nope, passes off. Smart play. Very unselfish. And takes the goal. So that margin back to that pesky 11. So no matter how hard ACT work, they just can't get it back under that 11. Or if it does, it's very brief. Gauchi, the lawyer from Sydney, throws the ball in to McLeod. So... Another one who likes Tommy Patelli as his netball idol. Did the coach write all these? Oh, it appears he may have. Tommy Patelli. Handwriting looks very similar. Yeah, getting so. the fan yeah. mail. I won't tell you that Anika Marcosi also likes Tommy <laughs> Patelli. So, clearly they haven't we'll heard have of Christine Popolo, yeah. who plays for you know, Victoria. She's yeah. a Victorian coach, Australian coach. Junior Levy goes all right. So... Patrick Pillay, <laughs> heard of him. So, bit of a netball genius. ACT fighting hard. Takes a shot. 
Going a little far. Now well, we've got a bit of blood on the ball. Everyone's checking their hands. Yep. Check yours, Joe. Checking Mine are okay. Mine are good. Nails are cut. Yeah. Good to go. That's a Sub nice me in. Mm. You've had a little manicure there. It looks fantastic. <laughs> so. Got to look good for the games. Ah, it's a Fijian International on a by Vatu. New, yeah. It's a blood rule. Isn't it a blood rule? Uh, no, unfortunately, in Nepal, um, new rule is that no matter what happens, yeah. it has to be a straight swap with players. Unless the umpire calls the time. Aha, uh -huh, so yeah. he called it himself. Rookie uh, error yeah, there. Yeah. So darts yeah. replaced him. Once the bleeding stops, he can make the sub straight back. Yes. This could be the chance for ACT with Bivatu off. Quick can they 12 goals. <laughs> a lazy 12. <laughs> <laughs> She's got all the jokes. <laughs> 6.49. So good take. Looking good. Into Joe, smashed by the said dart. He's just come on. So. So, Bivatu sits. They're calling for time so that uh, Bivatu can come back on. Another player in the Tommy Patelli fan club. So. New South Wales. The clock is not their friend for ACT. The margin is nine, seven to go. Is it doable, Joe Collis? Yes, absolutely. Always doable. Yep. The eternal optimist. I stick by my. Sticks by the Griffiths. ACT win by five. Oh, and ironically, it wow. appears Darts picked up a lazy injury. That's he grabbed very his strange, knee there. Yeah. Who would have seen that coming? I huh? didn't. It is a Logies <laughs> next week, and I think very Mr. Dart has been uh, nominated. Heavily strapped, you know. Yeah, and look at that. As he walks back, he's creating sort of limp for himself. <laughs> that is fantastic going the f extra mile. So, high fives to everyone. Everything with 100%. Had a quick you word know? to the coach. Yep. Big smiles. I think he's just recovered yeah, from Yeah, no, no physio treatment, which is, which is odd, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> thought I was harsh. <laughs> so no, you've got to do. You've got to do what you've got to do. Joe, Joe Bivar gets one back there <laughs> to uh, yeah. Bivarte. Not happy with what she's seeing. ACT, the chant goes up. The margins nine six to play. Beautiful Great intercept and there. kept in. Really nice. That's the turning point. If the crowd behind them, ACT can come good. His ball control is unbelievable. Unbelievable ball control. No, no, I'm not even going there. I don't know what we're saying here. That's a great shot great by Joe. Great shot by Joe Pivak. Beautiful ACT. Really nice. The margin is Down eight. by eight. Don't call it a comeback, guys. Not, not wholly in the circle <laughs> there. Gets away with one. It was either side of the line. Missed by the umpire. ACT working hard. This will be a long bomb. She's going to take it. And why wouldn't she? Just misses. Joe couldn't get the boards. Back outside to Carney. This time to Joe. Contact on the hands. Not happy to get the call. No call. Bit of an unfortunate one there. So the run comes to an end. The margin is eight. Oh. And again, they will not lie down, this team. I'm impressed by their tenacity. Through to a triple team. Probably not the pass. Yeah. Unfortunately, ACT is probably just showing they are a relatively new side. Um, they just need to remain composed on those turnovers. Oh, which the unfortunately shuffle. isn't happening. Played made famous by yours truly, the Millsy Shuffle, <laughs> uh, back in the day. Never heard of it, actually. Never Absolutely, heard of it. Joe. <laughs> I'll just get that knife, just want to throw it in my back there. <laughs> so, yeah. No one from the AC team next time, producer. Yeah. We'll just rub them out. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Joe, there's only four, three, sorry, four to go. Your team's down by 10. Is it time to start writing the uh, epitaph? Not over till it's over. No, nope. they just need to finish this quarter strong. Go out, go out, leaving nothing in the tank. They've had an incredible um, well, campaign. And got pinged for that one. Sorry, yep. I cut you off there. Had an incredible campaign. They, they've had an incredible campaign. They should be really proud of what they've achieved. So they will finish third. Much better performance than last oh, year. Oh, unbelievable. And hopefully this um, brings them up into the open competition, which is what, what we w hope to achieve as the Griffins. And um, we get another team in next year. Absolutely. And... Um, like second year in, so there'll be a third year in yeah. next year to go from nothing to exactly, open exactly. You've, you know, we're a small state, and we don't. Um, men's netball is really developing in and the ACT. And let's um, be honest, there was eight teams in this division, yeah. And 
probably six of them had a chance to win the title. There exactly, was two yes. not so strong, yeah. but the other six were all good. Going down as far as uh, I know Queensland finished fifth this year and they were a chance to win it at stages. Yeah, and I think it comes down to who performs on the day. Yeah. ACT have performed in every Absolutely. game. Absolutely. And just even today, there's some great positives to take out like of it. Just like you're performing today for Oof. the cameras. Unbelievable. <laughs> Joe, you do have that difficult task of picking a man, player of the match. Not allowed to say man of the match in a mixed comp. So yes. You, um, there's many to choose from. Oh, there is plenty to choose from. I McLeod's think been there's been great strong. individual performances. Britt Berry, she's yeah. just run the offensive yeah, end, played I, very yeah. unselfishly. To be so. honest. Um, Coglin, Gouch. Yeah. Oni's playing fantastically. He's shut down Joe, which is his goal for today. Yeah, he's been and grabbing the frock a bit, which I'm not a big fan hey, of. Hey, if you're getting away with it, yeah. you get away with it, I guess. There's a time and a place to grab a frock, and netball court's not it. So... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Joe is lost for words. Oh, yeah, I've The got margin's I've got nine. Nothing. It's still nine. It's three and a half. Ah. Three, 250 to go. The margin nine, Joe. That clock, yeah, the clock you see on the screen is our clock. Uh, ah, the official great. time is on the wall. Great, so. yep. And we've got to take it back those three inches. So Two things annoy me in netball. The bib coming off and just the pedanticism of yep. just getting the ball in the right spot for the penalty. Very good contest from New South Wales just there. That was sensational what work. I thought out of court, but... Goal defence, Ange Williams. Hustled, hustled. The hustled, ACT hustled. team are booing. They've picked up one of the Amna signs and using it as a loud hailer. <laughs> <laughs> Please put that down. Pick up the medals to go one yeah. so that the sponsors <laughs> get coverage. So, you don't want to be associated with that, do you? Oh, absolutely. There's no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> so, there it is. You sound like a politician. Big shout out to Uncle Mel. <laughs> He'll be watching. I well, actually do have an Uncle Mel. That's the truth. Well, but I hope not he's not that Uncle Mel. Yeah. So. McLeod putting the icing on the cake here. The margin back to 10. He has been rock solid for me. I don't make the decision. Hell ball. Wow. The wheels are falling off for the ACT side now. They have fought on gamely though, Joe. They have. They haven't given up, which is the most important thing for the day. Um, they are doing their best, and I think probably they, w they won't be too happy with this performance today, especially because they definitely thought they could win it. But they've got to take so many positive hours of this game. One more intercept there to the WD, Renee Pickering. So she's played quite well for me. She has, but she had, had a great impact on court. Absolutely. Didn't start the game. Tamara Weatherburn did. Came off at half time. So what's for ACT? There's no other teams in the comps now? Yeah, that's you guys no, done No, yeah, as unfortunately, a, as a state. This, is, this is the last team in the competition. Um, so we're on the Pepsis tonight? Yep, yep. Yep, on the waters. A few, a few quiet Pepsis yep. with the team. Yep. So you're, you're in charge of the 20s. So Sunday, I believe we're having a roast dinner, yeah. A roast dinner nice, on Sunday, yep. excellent. Bed, bed by nine. Tea and scones. Yep. Absolutely, Beautiful. that's good Love work, it. good to know. Nothing better. So we call them Pepsis here, so we're trying <laughs> to encourage Pepsi to join the sponsorship team. Ah, so Pepsi, yes. Mr. Pepsi, if you're listening, <laughs> plug, plug. So look behind us, Game Clothing, major sponsors. Anything, yep. But we can add the Pepsi name to it. So... We're in the dying stages of this preliminary final in the mixed reserves division. New South Wales will go through. They'll take on Victoria. They play that game tomorrow. It'll be on the other channel. Steve McGuinness from South Australia will be heading the coverage. We'll be on air from just before 9.30. Should be an absolute cracker of a match, that one. So, Victoria versus New South Wales. The timekeeper is up, the whistle goes, it's hugs all around. Tommy Patelli, extremely happy with his side. He's got him into the final. The final score, New South Wales 43, ACT 33. Great sportsmanship being shown on the court. Hugs all around, everyone's happy with that. Except for my co-commentator, Joe Collis, ACT legend. They fought hard. Yeah, they did. They did. They just the ran out of the The bounce of the ball didn't go their way yeah. all the time. They did look a little tired. Do you think the semi-final might have... Took it out of them a bit this I morning. think the week probably took it out of them. Yeah, you know, the they've got games. a few new players coming in and they did honestly did their best. Um, very proud of how they performed throughout the week. You're and a proud Griffiths coach. Oh, always. Absolutely. Always got to support ACT. We don't always have to, but uh, <laughs> there's a tunnel forming. Uh, is yeah. this a tradition for um, you guys? Yeah, I think I think the best thing about, about the Griffins, just from a personal aspect, is that it's not four individual teams going away. We are an association. We do everything together. We support each other. That Viking clap, I tell you what, it impacts. 
<laughs> it's not annoying at all. <laughs> <So> <laughs> not at absolutely all. a great effort here from the ACT team. Uh, their championship comes to an end on the Friday. Didn't quite make it through the grand final. They go through the tunnel of love and uh, the crowd rises to them. They've put in a magnificent performance. Really final are. score here, 43-33. We're going to go to an ad. Joe's going to pick a man of the match and we will have, sorry, player of the match, and we will have an interview with them shortly. Joe here at the Men's and Mixed Netball Association. Um, we've got our national championships. New South Wales has just made it into the final of the Mixed Reserves. Grant, golf shooter for the game, man of the match, congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. I, can't have, I couldn't have done it without the team. Such a stunning, stunning performance by the team. A tough competition, but kudos to them. Push us all the way, but this team, we've worked so hard for two months to get here, and um, yeah, I couldn't have done without the team, so yeah, just so yeah, great. Yeah, it did seem like a full, complete um, New South Wales performance today, and I don't think um, it was very difficult to uh, to pick one person, so that's a full credit to the team. The ACT side, they put up a really solid effort, um, but you, I think you could just see the tiredness towards the end. You guys stepped enough, up another level. Um, I think you know your defensive pressure was really good. Your shots, obviously, fantastic. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, it's tough. We've lost them twice um, during the comp, but you know we put our different combo combos on. They put theirs on, and we're going to come out strong and hard. And um, we know what they've got, and, and we'll bring just as tough. And we know we can do it. We've got full faith in the full 13. So, yeah, no no weaknesses. We're, we're strong. We've got this. Very much so. Anything can happen in the netball grand final, that's right? It. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, strong. Perfect. And what about the rest of the New South Wales teams? Um, are they making the grand finals? or? Yeah, we've got a couple. We're going to watch one now. Um, a couple that are through. A few tight games today where we're on by one or two. So um, having the home crowd advantage is, is massive in this kind of comp. So um, we'll be here to support. Beautiful. We look forward to the game tomorrow. Thank you very much, Grant, Cheers. and good luck. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Joe. So that's Joe Collis there with the man of the match, Grant McLeod. Shot particularly well, uh, looked a million dollars out there at times, which was fantastic. So just in conclusion, the, main, the preliminary final for the New South Wales Mix versus ACT game goes to New South Wales. They take on Victoria tomorrow from 9.30. We're on the other channel. Joe, throw the headphones on. Thanks very much yeah. for uh, coming back and seeing us. Anytime, that was a great anytime. interview out there. We appreciate your... Uh, Viewers, you can thank me later. Yeah, your <laughs> insightfulness. You may not see Joe again this trip. <laughs> so, thanks very much for your time. We've got a game coming up now, the mixed preliminary final between Queensland and New South Wales. It's another state of origin clash. Go the Mighty Maroons. They should win by 27. Uh, and that will be taken through this evening by Michael Hutchison from Netball Scoop. Thanks to Game Clothing for their support of this coverage. We'll be back to you shortly. Bye for now.